Last night, I'm at home, I see on Custom Offset's Snapchat story, these two things, and I'm like, what the heck are those? Oh, and I was like, oh yeah, Holiday, these guys, hooked up us up with some SCA edition trucks, and we get to go drive them and tell them what we think. Yeah, basically. That's what happened. So, went and did some research, because we had never heard of SCA. When they told us we have some SCA trucks we want you to check out, we are like, we don't even know what that means. Um, apparently we're just a couple years behind because they didn't used to be called SCA, they were Southern Comfort Automotive. Yeah. Everybody has seen the Southern Comfort Chevys, and then they also make the Apex. We found out that they actually had a big part in the Reaper truck. We still can't figure out if they did any of the performance stuff, but definitely the cosmetics from what it sounds like. They're a lot older than what people think too because they're actually around They're as old as you. They're way older than me, they're as old they're, as you. They were born the same year as me. So, and they started off with vans from what I can read online, yep. and then now it's into the modern trucks that everybody's seeing today. Which is smart in my opinion, because that Southern Comfort Edition, I think it was cool, but it was kind of like the wall dock thing. It's been around forever. It's kind of your dad had one or your cool uncle had one. But I think when they came out with SCA, their whole intent was to grab some of the popular brands like Rigid, and then make some of the stuff themselves but come up with a much cleaner um, logo and kind of hit the little bit younger crowd. However, we're gonna talk about the price at some point. I'm not so <laughs> sure that that's aimed at the younger crowd, so yeah. we'll have to see. So now you can do what you want to do, and why don't you tell them, take them through your truck. So we're guys supposed to start at the front and work our way back. Obviously the first thing that I noticed was the paint. On both of them it's a matte paint and this is actually paint it's not vinyl but the finish is freaking sweet like yeah, everybody that's been nice. driving by the shop and stuff is asking about these things ever since they showed up so they have their own bumpers this is an sca bumper and then behind here they've got rigid pods and then they've got the rigid what's probably a 20 inch behind here as well i think that's there. shorter well it might be a single row 18 or 20 because this one's got a 20 in the grill so, so I've got, got an upgraded grill. grill too, which appears to be a complete rigid grill and light bar package. So they are a little different. There's one thing. Ah, uh, okay. So six inch lift too. And they said a true lift. I don't know what that means. Probably. Maybe they made sure and got the full six inches out of it. I, I guess I don't measure a lot of lifts to see if they have a true six inches, but that, that is one thing that they said. So you can see they got the SCA logo on the front cross member here, but it looks pretty similar to like a Fabtech kit. And then something different, the strut spacer is actually on the bottom here. So it bolts around the shock. Now, these look like Rancho shocks, which is what comes on like the Z71 package. And then all your height change is from the spacer on the bottom. But oh, the, wow. the angles and everything are- Instead of the spacer on top of the yeah, strut here. The angles are great. So a lot of Toyotas use this same style lift, but I That's haven't seen it in a lot of Chevys. Yeah, it's super different. Diff drop. Looks like, yeah, they have typical drop brackets in there. So it's got 22 by 12s. We're assuming they're like a negative 44 offset probably. I'm gonna do a build test quick though. So I'm sorry, oh crap, ran out of money. We'll have to do a 20. So you can see that it's got, you know, if you, if you look at the concavity of it, it's like eight, seven or eight inches. So it's, you know, it's um, concave all day. It's definitely gonna be a negative 44 at least. If not, maybe the negative 51 offset on the 12 wide. And then they wrapped it in the Toyo Open Country RT. It looks like, I think they used to run a lot of BFG we saw in the Southern Comforts and whatnot, but these are running the Toyo RT. And those are, I'm sure, 35, 12 and a half. I didn't look at them yet. Yeah, 35, 12 and a half R22s. So a 12 wide negative 44 on a six inch lift. Typically, you have to do some trimming of the bumper, but because they did the bumper that way, there's nothing there. But it'll be interesting to see if it hits on the back and then we can crawl in there. And you can see they've got a large pocket style fender flare, which I believe is their own also. Ha, I see what they did. You could kill it. Look at what they did, which is brilliant. Probably gonna rethink this ourselves. They went in here and they trimmed out their flare and then they trimmed out all the metal, but then they replaced it with a plastic pocket of their own that folds up behind here and then reattached all of this so they don't have that open gap which a lot of us end up with when we try to trim these they made a pocket a plastic pocket that goes up in there which is absolutely brilliant it ends up looking like a factory edge it's you know it's that rough plastic but it's with it being hidden by the fender flare 
it's actually super smart and it cleared for days you could definitely jump really? it you're not going to but you could, could should should not jump it you know that down don't there? jump it but the wheels i saw in their videos they definitely designed them they were involved sure. in the actual design very fuel assault looking i think that's why i like them they've been super popular for us for some of the dealer builds it's just kind of a neutral wheel that a lot of people can get around it's got a ton of machining milling exposed lug nut it looks like they bedlined the whole drop in or spray in spray cool and then these are the Black Widow Military Edition, so they have the... Oh yeah, the uh, military symbols, yep. Yeah. Armed Forces Edition Black Widow, I believe they called it. And then they've got an Apex Edition, which is a little different. And then they do some Jeep stuff. I mean, it seems like they're, they've got their hands in a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. There's one video I saw that showed their factory, and it's pretty big. It's got tens of thousands of square feet for sure, and they had an assembly line and everything rocking. Interior on mine is color matched. I don't know if yours is too, but it's that same matte paint. Both oh, all the there. dash panels, yeah. Yep. So all the dash panels are all color matched. The center console. The seats, the headrests have the uh, logos on them. Yeah, lots of attention to detail. Because even the gauges are Black Widow Edition gauges. It, they paid attention to all the little details. Yeah. I think that's what I like the most. Well, they don't like, seem to be cutting any corners. Yeah, like the paint, you know, it's a good paint job because it's it's all over coverage. Like, I don't know what color this truck used to be. I didn't like go over decals. Like you see like cheap stuff like that done sometimes and this is all, yeah. it looks like, a, like it came from the factory and that's kind of their whole point with SCA. What I like is because they did the flares on the 12 wides, you have very little um, tread sticking out. So it shouldn't throw much for rock. But when you were driving, I could absolutely see those wheels sticking out of the fenders. So I think legal wise, it, it'll be good. You won't get messed with with the cops, but um, it still has that big wide stance to it. I would have tinted the taillights, but that's probably another legal issue for brand new. So what everybody's gonna wanna know then is if you buy one of these, how do they drive? Yeah, so like what happens when you jump it? So let's go jump it. Okay, I call the gray one. No, I'm taking the gray one. That'd be a bummer if we ran into each other right in the parking lot. So I'm not sure what Sean is going to say, because we don't, uh, we can't talk to each other. We can only talk to the cameraman. But we're just going to kind of drive these around and see how they ride. Because this is an SCA lift kit. They have their own. And then uh, I guess kind of just talk about what it's like on different road surfaces and we can kind of point out some interior stuff we already mentioned, but like this one has all the painted interior that matches the exterior, which is super cool. I can hear that there's probably a rumble to the exhaust, but because they make the cabins on these so nice these days, I can't hear the exhaust at all, which is kind of nice. Because I know when I heard it start up, when Fuller started his, I could hear it when I was outside. As far as exhaust goes, it's like it sounds good at idle, but even getting on it, it's not really that loud. Um, which is kind of nice because that way on the highway you're not getting like crazy drone or anything like that. This is our media van if you've never seen it. That's Max. He's like 16. Best filmmaker we got though. This ride is actually pretty good. Um, for a second there I forgot I was even in a lifted truck till I drove past these people and realized how tall I was compared to them. It really does feel like a factory, a factory truck like an OEM set up and turn them off before somebody gets mad at us. I'd love to take this up on the highway and see how it does on that really crappy concrete highway we have. Where's he going? Where are you going? We had a plan. Sean's not following the plan. I didn't stick to the plan. No, They should know by now that I don't yeah. stick with the plan. So this is about the roughest highway I've ever been on in my life. So it'll be a good test. I know our 2500 bounces like a basketball down this highway. So if you can even hear me talk and I don't have that uh, helicopter voice. Yeah, it's good. I mean, that's a pretty good ride. So short sprint on the highway and this highway is actually pretty rough. The way that the concrete breaks 
and they have it cut in lines for the freeze cracks. So it's like every 10 feet, there's a crack or a bump that you're hitting. And I, you, I don't know if you can tell on camera or not, but I was actually pretty impressed. Um, definitely like better quality than what you get out of rough country. Uh, not quite as good as like a full coilover setup, obviously, but still pretty decent ride on the highway. I could definitely daily drive this. I'd be very happy with that. That wouldn't bother me at all on such a bad highway. Bye, Fuller. <laughs> He's gonna off-road, that's awesome. So I don't drive a lifted truck every day, so I have to compare it to a car, but I think these actually ride pretty good. They ride really good. That, that was the roughest highway we have in Wisconsin. Lawson and I were on it with CO2 yesterday and chipped our teeth. That, that was smooth. That's why I wanted to go up there. It's a, I'm impressed. There's no bump steer, no vibration, no shaking. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, I noticed the steering is super tight. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really impressed with these. Yeah, same. Back to the shop we go. Yep, I'll take two. Here you go. <laughs> so what do you think? I was super impressed with drivability. I was telling Austin mm -hmm. that I could definitely like daily drive one of these, no problem. Yeah, you didn't feel like you were on 22s and on a six inch lift. You okay. tell you're in a lifted truck. I, I did, you can feel the little bit of stiffness that a lifted truck brings, but it was one of the better lifted trucks that I've ridden in. Yeah. And it's nice to know that a brand new truck still feels like a brand new truck. That was probably my biggest thing. Yep, because if you're going to spend the money on something new, you want it to perform like me. And for some reason, because of those hood vents on those hoods, I felt like I was in like a Baja truck. It felt really wide up front, yeah. which I really liked. You knew you were in a Black Widow truck. For sure. I mean, you literally, you knew that's what you were driving at all times. And so did those chicks that saw us go by. Just saying. Cut. <laughs> so the last thing that everybody's going to want to know is, so how much are they? They're not bad. They're not six figures. Mine is um, window sticker about 89,000. And I think mine's just a little bit less than that, at like 87 something, because I don't have the grill and yep. that's about it. So. And I think the base truck is 57,000. So it's about a $30,000 package. Yep, and they put that right on the sticker. It shows you how much they yep. spent to upgrade it. And it's got all the, all the uh, stuff listed off, which we caught every one of them, which is cool. Um, the good news is mine's on sale, like 12 grand off right now. So mine is even deeply discounted more than that. I'm at 74. And I think the difference we decided was the grill, right? Yep. Yep. So we did a little math and monthly, it's about thousand bucks a month. I think we went on sale 1200 a month. Give or take, depending on your- On like a six year loan and all that stuff. So do I think everybody should just go out and buy one of these? No. Do I think somebody that can come up with a little down payment and snap one of these up, would it be worth it? Absolutely. The best part about these trucks is the fact that you don't have to build anything. Nothing. And you don't have to wait for parts to come Nothing. in. You can just go to the dealership. You pick you it pick up, it up drive and it drive away. If you don't want to decide what wheels fit, if you don't want to decide what tires, these are one of our favorite tires. Yep. We're pretty happy with the fitment of the wheel. We're happy with the style. I mean, just in general, and they're legal. You know, your, your tires aren't sticking out too far, but still, whenever you got in front of us, I was just super happy with how aggressive the truck looks. Yep. It's not. You know, it's not like the old school packages that just, they were close, but they didn't quite get it. SC is definitely paying attention to the trends. For sure. So I would say, you know, we should get a couple. I'm in. We, let's go get a second job though. No, but for real though, big thank you to Holiday Automotive for sending these trucks up so we could play with them. Super cool experience yeah. for me. I'm glad that I get to drive these for a living. So. Yeah, keep them coming. For if you guys sure. got any other cool stuff all over America, send it to us and we'll just drive it around and make videos of it. That'll be our new job. Yes. Peace. Peace.